when did this happen? I was just handed this story. This just broke on Deadspin. Is that the mugshot? Or is that just a bad picture of Chad Gauden? The headline reads, Chad Gauden groped a woman on a gurney in an ER. Giants reliever Chad Gauden is charged with one count of open and gross lewdness. By the way, this makes me feel a lot better about my breasts in sports segment than I'm going to do, if not today, tomorrow. Uh, Giants reliever Chad Gauden is charged with one count of open and gross lewdness after an incident at a Las Vegas emergency room back in January. It's a bizarre story that has some somehow been kept quiet for six months. According to police, Gauden was drunk at about 4.30 a.m. when he approached a 23-year-old woman on a gurney. <laughs> What? In a, um, th- I am literally finding out about this as I read this to you. Maybe I should prepare for this with a commercial break. Hold on. Hold on. Gauden was drunk at 4.30 a.m. when he approached a 23-year-old woman on a gurney in a Desert Springs hospital three miles east of Las Vegas Strip. The woman, this is not funny, the woman told police she was lying on a gurney in the emergency room lobby when Gauden appeared, told her she was gorgeous, Touched her face and then breast. That's just creepy, if that's true. A witness heard Gauden say, I will take care of you. Don't worry about them. <laughs> to a woman, then saw a woman then saw him touch her face, leg, and breast, according to a police report. Hospital security tackled Gauden and held him down until police arrived, who noted in their report that he was still yelling and using profanity when they showed up. The most obvious question is, why is a perfectly healthy Chad Godin at a hospital at 4.30 in the morning? I asked Godin several times how he ended up at the hospital, and each time he told me he didn't know. Godin and his wife, who got married at the Hard Rock Hotel in 2011, but the arrest was made on January 27th, a month after the journeyman signed with the San Francisco Giants. Godin has not been charged until earlier this month. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Come here often? Uh, Only when injured? Really? Hi, I'm Chad. I just hang out. That is weird. That is very weird. Let's take a quick call. Hold on. Let me let me let me go real quick to uh, Eric in San Francisco here, because coming up next, we're going to change the subject a little bit before we get back to this in a little bit. We got Jimmy Durkin coming up talking a little college football. Uh, Eric in San Francisco, though, how you doing? Oh, Eric. Oh, see, I was going to go to you, Eric, and it sounded like you were there, and then you let me down. It's like a, a woman on a gurney who just doesn't want anything to do with me, no matter how much I touch her face or breast or leg. That is weird. That is really, really weird. This just came across Deadspin. Okay, Chad Godden. Interesting. Interesting. Probably is going to affect the bobblehead night just a little, if there is one. Wow. Okay. You know, I got a a, a, a tweet here from a guy who said, uh, Okerlund asked, you know, why would you go big with the Giants when the Giants are actually playing against you? Wouldn't you want to do a little counter-programming? Well, number one, there's a lot of Giants fans on the way to the game right now, and they're you know, they, they switch back and forth, so there's that. And the Giants are the lead story here in the Bay Area right now based on how they're sinking. And then you got Chad Gauden touching women on a gurney in a hospital for no reason being there at all. That is just odd to say the least. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just here to console you. I'm just here to let you know that I will take care of you. You don't have to worry about them. Well, who's them? Everyone else in the hospital? By the way, who are you? I'm Giants reliever Chad Gauden. I'm here to help you. It's going to be okay. In a story that broke last hour on Deadspin, Giants reliever Chad Gauden being charged with one count of open and gross lewdness. It's one thing for open lewdness. It's another thing for gross lewdness. Open and gross lewdness. That's just a little bit too much lewdness. 
Ludness. Not Ludwig. Ludness. <laughs> there you go. Everyone's looking for a, 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 you know, oh, that guy should have a cute nickname. Chad Godden's nickname should be Ludness von Beethoven. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Gauden was drunk at about 4.30 in the morning when he approached a 23-year-old woman on a gurney at Desert Springs Hospital, three miles east of the Las Vegas Strip. The woman told police that she was lying on a gurney in the emergency room when Gauden appeared and told her she was gorgeous and touched her face and her breast. A witness heard Gauden say, quote, I will take care of you. Don't worry about them. That's my creepy Chad Garden voice, by the way. Ludness, Ludness von Chad Garden. <laughs> you got you know, all of a sudden the Giants are printing "woman on a gurney" T-shirts. Chad Garden just walking by them, or like a gurney by the bullpen. Ludness, Ludness. <laughs> This is wrong. This is not good. What makes it even worse is Chad Gauden just got married, and a month later he's petting strange woman on a gurney. She was go- You're gorgeous. I will take care of you. My name? Ludness. Ludness von Beethoven. That is something else. How does this stay quiet for six months? I mean, if this shows you the middle relievers don't get any respect, Gauden had to become a starter for this story to even break. You know what the truth is? There's a different set of rules from for professional athletes than there are for us. This will be swept under the rug. This will be taken care of by a lawyer, and it'll go away as quickly as it arrived. But when no one's looking and when the media's out of earshot, do you realize how bad... His teammates are going to rip him from this if that team really does get along. Let me tell you something right now. Brad, Ted, Dan, not Libby, I love you guys. You guys are fantastic. Don't ever let, don't ever appear in a story like this. I'll never let you hear the end of it. If either one of you ever get charged (laughs) with a count of open and gross lewdness, Ludness, you're going to hear it from me. It's the least of the Giants' problems right now. 